There's no magic referee, positional referee running line that is perfect. They've all got pros and cons, and not all running lines or positions suit all athletes. You know, like we're all different. We've all got different strengths and weaknesses. Big thing with coaching referees is is to be aware of the pros and cons of each different position that you take up. And then for each referee to decide for themselves which position are they most comfortable in, and then importantly to know what the downfalls of that position are. And so you're right, like around around the time of the of the 211 World Cup, I was getting myself probably a little bit wider and a little bit flatter than I did towards the end of my career. I felt after kind of in the last couple of years of my career, I wanted I wanted to have a bit more presence around the breakdown. So I wanted to get a little bit closer. But in order to do that, I needed to be in a position that was going to be closer to the breakdown. I couldn't be as flat because then I would have got turned sideways. So I needed to be a little bit deeper. But also then what I felt, what I liked about that position is it allowed me to get ball line running earlier. And so I preferred it because I felt I was less reliant on ARs for things like forward passes because I was ball line running. Right. And most importantly, what it did, it put me in the same running the line into each breakdown. So I approached each breakdown from the same position and I, I was able to take up the same position and same running line into every breakdown. So every breakdown looked the same to me. And I thought yeah. I thought that was really important for consistency of breakdown decisions, that I was looking at the same picture time after time after time. Now, that doesn't mean that position was perfect. Um, at times, there were dangers of being close. And I had to work out exit strategies for when – one-off runners were coming running in that channel with the nine, picked up the ball and 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 um, and ran sideways with it. Yeah, go 12! Ball line running demands a bit of extra work. Um, yeah. And that's, you, you know, I guess you could call it one of the inverted commas cons of, of yeah. doing that. But it was, you know, it was one of the things which uh, physically I always worked really hard and I was capable um, yeah. And so, and so it was a conscious decision. Like I knew from my uh, from the stats on the on the GPS device that I wore, I knew that my running distance was going to be more than the average referee because of that running line. Uh, but it was something which I trained physically to be able to do that because I believe that made me a better referee. I was never really overly graceful when doing a pivot. You know, I'm a big tall <laughs> man, and <laughs> when I pivot, I wasn't comfortable. I didn't look comfortable, and so. And so I worked out for me pivoting uh, wasn't great. Whereas uh, a lot of referees are great pivoters. They they you know they do it and they're comfortable. And so then go for it. But allowing the ball to go behind my back, I could work out if it was a deep pass that I could look over my right shoulder and see the ball a split second later. Uh, yeah. And I also knew if it was a short pass, then it was going to be inside. Um, and then I knew I could look over my my left shoulder. And see the ball. So, you know, the fundamental reality of refereeing is never lose sight of the ball. Sure. And so I always knew which I, I, I could look, look over left shoulder or right shoulder, and at any given time I could see exactly where the ball was. Yeah.